What you guys got another video here for you on virtualization and problems that people have trying to get virtualization working on their Windows system. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. I've had a couple of people uh, lately asking about Sandbox and it's grayed out and they can't enable uh, virtualization like Hyper-V and other things like that. So let's first take a look at Windows Sandbox. So if we type control panel inside of the search box here and then go to where it says programs and then programs and features then go on to turn windows features on or off inside here you'll have an area which says hyper v and you can see it's for running virtual machines now when we come down to the sandbox you'll see this is grayed out here it's all been grayed out you won't be enabling this now if you look it says Windows Sandbox cannot be installed virtualization support um, is disabled in the firmware now the firmware will be your BIOS it would be probably easier for people if they put BIOS there rather than firmware because people get confused with that but you can see that that basically is grayed out here and you won't be able to enable it that's uh, the biggest problem that people have so if you try to install VirtualBox or VMware or any of those things or Hyper-V, they won't work because it's disabled. Another thing you can do is open up your task manager and go to performance here. And when you click on performance tab, if you go down to virtualization, you will see that it's been disabled. Now, if you see these uh, issues here, then you're not going to be able to run virtualization on your system and it's pretty simple and easy to fix all you need to do is enable it in your BIOS and the problem will be resolved it's that simple it's not an actual fix really it's just a basic uh, where your virtualization has been disabled in a BIOS so let me go into the BIOS and I'll show you what to do and then you'll see this all come on and you won't probably be able to install uh, VirtualBox or VMware as well because it will say it's been disabled so you will probably have issues here Hyper-V uh, support is yes, but it won't work because of the virtualization part. So let's go ahead and get into the BIOS. Now to get into the BIOS, you need to restart the system and then you need to get into the BIOS here. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so what we need to do here is restart the computer. Now, once we restart the computer, you're gonna get a post screen coming up, which is your splash screen at the bottom. And you wanna look there because it's gonna tell you which key to press to get into the BIOS. Now, this will either be either the Dell key or DL key, delete key, or the F2 key, or it might be another key that is telling you to press to get into the BIOS. You can see it there at the bottom of the screen. So just push that key and uh, keep tapping it. It will only be up there for a split second, and then you'll be able to enter the BIOS. And then we need to go to advanced mode. Down the bottom right you'll see advanced mode so we're going to tap that key and we're going to enter uh, advanced mode. So let's go down there and click on it. You can use your mouse in the UEFI BIOS. If you're not using a UEFI BIOS then you will uh, use your uh, cursor keys, arrow keys. We're going to go up to advanced here and once we get into advanced we want to go to CPU configuration inside here this is where we're going to be changing our setting now mine's called SVM mode uh, yours might be called virtualization technology or something like that and you can see here it says enable or disable CPU virtualization it's that simple and you can see it's set to disable now once we put this onto enable by using the drop down arrow here we can enable this and then we can save it and once we've enabled this we'll be able to install virtual machines like uh, VMware, VirtualBox or any of those types of things and even install things like uh, Windows Sandbox. So what we'll do is we're going to say yes here and push F10 to save it and it will start to reboot the system and boot up to the desktop and then we can check those settings out once we get back to the desktop now without having that feature enabled you won't be able to get virtualization working on your computer okay so we've enabled uh, the virtualization inside the bios now so let's go back to control panel and go back into programs and then programs and features 
then turn Windows features on or off. And if we look inside here now, we should be able to enable the Windows Sandbox. Very simple and easy to do. So if I put the tick in here, it will start to install and then reboot the computer. You will have Windows Sandbox enabled for you. And it's pretty simple. Let's right click on there, go Task Manager, and go to Performance, and you'll see Virtualization is now enabled. And that will allow you to basically install VirtualBox, virtu uh, VMware, uh, VMware Workstation, any of that sort of stuff, and install virtual machines and use virtual machines on your system. Now, without that enabled, you're just not going to be able to do it and you're going to run into problems and that's the problem that people have all the time now sometimes they say they can't find it in the BIOS and it can be named different types of names in the BIOS the more modern one was the one you see there sometimes it's called uh, virtualization technology and other different names for different types of motherboard manufacturers just check inside there it will be in the CPU area and in the advanced area and then check inside there and you should see something to do with virtualization. If you just hover over all of them, eventually it will tell you it's for virtualization. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a real quick basic video, but I get asked this question quite a bit and I thought it would be easier just to make a quick video to show you. Anyway, I hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.